Hey everyone, welcome back to new series of Python. In today's video, we will be discussing about the installation of Python Interpreter and PyCharm. Now let's move on to our Google Chrome and let's open that. Now you can just search for Python download where this will let you into the official website of Python. Now you can just use the link over here and you can see the latest version of Python is 3.12.4. And if you are looking Python with a different OS, you can just use it from here. So currently, we just need to install the Python interpreter for Windows. So let me choose Windows over here and you can find different versions that is available for Windows. But always keep in mind that if you are using Windows 7, this Python version won't be supported for your system. So you have to just upgrade your Windows version. And uh, we can find different versions of Python with Python 3.12.3, um, 3.11.9, and 3.10.4. So in previous video, that is the installation of Python and PyCharm in Ubuntu, we have discussed about the installation of Python with version 3.10. As that file is not available over here, we can just install the Python 3.11 for Windows. So you can just click on the Windows installer, and this will take a few um, seconds to install the file. So once you install the file, you can just open that and just go with the further process. Now here in the downloads, you can find the file which is installed. So you can choose that. And if you want to add the Python uh, extensions to your path, you can just enable this field. And if you just want to go with the customization of installation, you can just go there and now let's pr proceed with the next button. And if you want to install the Python 3, 0.11 for all users you can just enable this field and if you want to just customize the install locations or change the locations you can just set that so i'll be going with the default location now let me click on the install it takes a few um seconds to set up and here you can find that so let's wait for a while so we have su successfully installed the python now let's close this and you can just search for the i idle so you can see it's installed or if you want to just ensure whether we have installed the python or not you can just go to the command prompt and here you can just go like python double hyphen version so this will give the version which is installed on your device so we have currently uh, install that now you can just um, choose the ideal and let's open that now it's easy to write the code over here so let me choose uh, mm, this ideal and here you can just give hello world okay and click on enter, you will get the result. Now, the next step is to install the PyCharm. So we know Python is just an interpreter. So using this language, we just have to write the code somewhere. So in order to write that, we will be using the IDE as PyCharm. So there are different IDEs such as Sublime, Atom, Visual Studio Code and all. But in our tutorial, we will be dealing with PyCharm. So now let's see how can we install uh, the PyCharm. So again, you can just search for PyCharm download. And you can just go to the website of JetBrains. So actually the PyCharm is powered by JetBrains. So as we are in uh, the Windows, here you can find the Windows version. And this is enterprise edition so there are actually two versions which is the uh, enterprise edition as well as community edition or we can just say professional edition so if it is a professional edition or an enterprise edition then we have to make payment for them but if when we are using the pie shop with the community edition it will be completely for free so we can just download this okay click on download button and here you can see that it takes 
a few seconds to download the file and afterwards we can just go with for the process. So here you can see the downloaded file. Let's click on that and open it. Now I've click on next and let's go again with uh, next. So if you want to just change the uh, destination folder or the location, you can just change that and let's click on next again. So if you want to create uh, the desktop shortcut, you can just enable this and um, let's click on next again and click on install so that we can extract everything after the extraction, the installation will be done. Now, um, let's click on Ren. If you want to uh, Ren PyCharm Community Edition, you can just enable this and yeah, click on finish button. And here you can see that we have successfully installed our PyCharm. So let's wait for the opening. So here we have to just uh, read the user agreement. Afterwards, you just need to enable this checkbox and you can just click on continue. And if you want to just get any anonymous, um, I mean, if you want to just send something anonymous, you can just send that or currently we just don't need to send. So let's go with don't send. Now here, let's see how to create the new project. So click on the new project and here you can see that uh, um, the name is given over here, which is Python project. If you want to make any further changes, you can change that. So let's set it as Python for beginners. And here you can set uh, the Python version. So here you can see we have uh, installed the Python version, which is uh, Python 3.11. And you can set that afterwards. You can just uh, click on create. And here you can see that we are just creating the virtual environment. So once you create the Python, you have to set that Python version in the PyCharm. Then only you can just manage with the code of uh, Python. Okay, the latest version or if you're, if you're just managing with the previous version and all, you, you have to just switch between the versions and all over there. So here we have set up the environment and that's all about the installation of PyCharm. Now, if you want to create a new file for this, you can just create that. So here you can see, if you want to just uh, create a new file, click on new. You can just add the file and all. So we want to add a new file under this folder. So let me create a file in a, a Python format. So you can just go with Python file. And now let's provide demo as a name for my file and let's choose python file so that here you can see now a file is automatically created with the python uh, extension as we just said python file so that's all for today and i hope this video truly shows how to install the python and pycharm in your windows so that's all for today thank you for watching